ons gesels mensenhandel en ons volgende uh, atelier gast, Shaneli Doran, is uh, neer student by Monash Suid-Afrika en uh, sy is bezig met die thesis oor mensenhandel en slavernij. Uh, a big welcome. Thank you. Early morning. Yes. <laughs> and I must say, a difficult subject to do your thesis on. Yes. Um, how did that come about? Well, basically, um, I'm the president of CRIMON, which is a criminology society at Monash, South Africa. And last year, we did this project relating to um, advocating for human trafficking. Mm. And I just thought that through my thesis, I can advocate more and create more awareness around the issue and around the topic as well. Mm. And, and your background? Where, where, where are you from? Well, <laughs> so I'm, I'm an honours student at Monash South Africa yes. right now. I have an, a degree in international studies and criminology as well. So right now I'm doing my honours and thesis in international studies. But, but was, was it like, when did you realise that it's a massive problem in South Africa as well? Okay, well, last year I had the opportunity to go to Hong Kong okay. um, on a leadership symposium. And during that time, we got to do a lot of um, information sessions and that kind of thing. Mm. And during that time, we did what was called the Switch Up Challenge yes. as one of the, the activities. And what it was about was the simulation process to mm. raise awareness about human trafficking. And after that, I was... I was totally hooked. It, I was like, this is what I need to do. It's wrong. And also, there's a very common misconception that it's not just, uh, that it's not in South Africa, that it's just everywhere else. But that's what we also want to try and create mm. awareness, that it's a very big problem in South Africa. And to create awareness around that fact, yes. that people need to be careful, but to be aware as well. Um, I want to take you back to the uh, sweatshop project yes. because I've, I've looked at the video and it's actually yeah. amazing because yeah. what you Thank do you. you put people in a room and even like with nuts and bolts yes. or let them do what what you know that, that that slave labor the guys are doing for 12 hours that's all they do yes. are you going to do workshops like that because i think that will really change someone's mind yes well actually last year we did our first one mm. which is actually the sixth one in the world which was quite, it was quite a good thing for us. So what we did last year was have a 12 hour simulation where the participants did the nuts and bolts activity, like you said, all separating different color rice. So that was our first one and it was quite successful. And we're doing another one this year um, on the 5th of October, but we're only doing five hours this year, but we found it to be very, very, I would say effective for mm. the people who participated because you really do get a greater understanding of what these people go through in their everyday lives. And it's really, really horrific and terrible and so like heart-wrenching that you actually want to leave there making a difference, want to go and let all these people know what's actually going on because the more you create awareness around it, the more hopefully we can prevent it yes. and also advocate for those victims who are currently enslaved. With your studies, I don't know whether you are allowed to share a bit. Um, with yes. your topic, uh, what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on South Africa specifically? Uh, maybe just a, a brief background on your topic per se. Okay, no problem. Well, my topic is looking at the perceived effectiveness of this advocacy campaign. Okay. So because you get so many different kinds of campaigns out there, mm. um, which are all equally as effective, they, I was looking specifically at this one, looking at whether or not the simulation process will create more of an effect for people to go out and want to make that difference rather wow. than like, like, for example, I love going to marches. So you go to a march and you fight for it and you're all in, you're in that, that vibe and it's amazing and everything. And then you're not 100% sure what to do afterwards. Mm. So with this, which I'm not knocking at all, they're all equally as effective, mm. but with this, I found that people get that understanding and they feel bored, they feel useless, they feel that sense of, you know, they're not going to get anywhere, no accomplishment. So after they've finished doing this, then they're like, you know, I never want to feel that way again. Mm. I never want anybody else to feel that way. Yes. So well, let's, let's do something about it. And because they felt that little bit of, you know, it might have been an hour, it might have been 12 hours, that sense of unease and that sense that their life is not going anywhere and mm. they have nothing more to live for, they want to change that. So that's what I'm ultimately looking at through my thesis. And I'm also at other advocacy campaigns, but just comparing them 
Mm. And, you know, because one's not more effective than the other because mm. we can't really say that. But Are it's, you going to do another like sweet shop project? And how can people get involved? Yes, we're going to be doing one on the 5th of October at okay. Monash, South Africa. Um, it's going to be from 5 until 10 um, in the afternoon. So people can come after work and everyone is invited. And if people want to come, mm. then they can either look us up Cremon, which is C-R-I-M-O-N, on Facebook, um, and we can get in touch with them, or anyone can email me to get more information. And I also would highly recommend people watching the video beforehand so that they can also see what it's all about and see how it's affected other mm. people as well. Just repeat sure. that first word. Cremon, so it's C R. I M O N on mm. Facebook. It's a Facebook page. Shanelie, amazing wow. thing Thank that you. you're doing, and all of the best, and hopefully you're going to save some lives. Thank you so much. Not just Thank studies. you for having me. Great stuff. <laughs>